What's up guys, I'm Uriel Soto and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add a one click upsell to your WooCommerce checkout. Now this is how it's going to go ahead and look like and it works just like this. Anyone who wants to add this um, beanie to their, their checkout, they can just go ahead and click on this and they can add the upsell. And as you can tell, it's added right here and they can easily just check this again to remove it. And that's basically what we're going to be building today. And if you guys do end up finding this video helpful, make sure to squash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. It really helps us out a lot. And as always, go ahead and stick around. Well, let's begin. Now the first thing that we need to do is download a plugin. So head over to your dashboard. Go to plugins. And then go ahead and click on add new. And then we're going to just want to type in upsell. And we want to go ahead and install this one. It's called the Malingo One Click Upsell for WooCommerce. I think that's how you pronounce it. And then go ahead and activate it. And then uh, let's go ahead and start adding our upsell. So make sure that you have your product created. And if you don't, just go to your products, go to all products, and go ahead and click on Add New. And then go ahead and just add your product that you want to have as an upsell. Um, but I'm sure at this point, a lot of you guys already have a product that you guys want to sell as an upsell. So um, for this for this example, I'm going to be using a beanie as an upsell. So head over to WooCommerce and then go to one click upsell. And then from here, we're going to have a, um, a product upsell that we can edit. Now we're only allowed one product upsell unless you upgrade. So I'm going to go ahead and just click edit on the default order bump. And then I'm going to go ahead and just name this. I'm going to call this Beanie Upsell. Now, as you can tell, I do have my product already on here, uh, but that's just because I was testing it out earlier. So from here, now we just want to add our product upsell. So go ahead and just add your product, whatever that may be. For me, it's going to be my Beanie. And I'm going to go ahead and choose this one. And then I'm going to add my discounted price. Now you can just add whatever price you may want, um, whatever price you're charging for your product. So for this one, I'm going to do 30. Um, that's going to be my price for my product. And then all these other options, some of them are on the premium version, as you can tell. And then we can go ahead and start adding some of the text. But before I start doing that, I'm going to show you how this looks like on your checkout page. And then we can go ahead and start editing. So go ahead and click on publish. And this will turn this draft into a published upsell. All right, so make sure this is published. And then let's head over to our checkout page. So I'm just going to open up another tab here. And then I already have my products added to my, my cart. And then I'm going to go to my checkout page. As you can tell at the bottom here, we have our, um, our upsell. Now, if the person already has that product, um, you're not going to see the upsell. Let's say I add beanies to this. I'm not going to see this upsell because they already added the product. So I just want to let you guys know in case your guys are having that issue. So let's go ahead and just start stylizing this a bit. So over here, if we go to content, we can go ahead and just change this, this uh, lead, which is just this title here. Yes, I want it. So you can put um, yes, uh, well, whatever your title may be. For me, it's going to do um, yes, I want, I want a beanie. Find out a website. <laughs> and then we can go ahead and just add this title. One time offer only 30 and want this amazing uh, product, want this amazing beanie. Now, of course, you could, you probably will change this to whatever description you want to add, but I'm just going to go ahead and do this. I mean, yeah, I'm just going to leave this as is. You can change this to whatever you guys would want. So then your locations doesn't really matter. That's, that's all this. It would matter if you have the pro version, but since we don't, we're just going to have it on our checkout page. And then we have our stylizing here. So, as you can tell, yes, I want a beanie has been added and the price has been adjusted as well. So we can go ahead and just start adjusting this. Um, so the border, the border color right here is red. You can make that to whatever you want. Maybe I want it, I want it to kind of match my website here. So I can choose this color here. And then I can go ahead and refresh that. And I can even change the background color. This is this background color that you see um, for the entire box. I can change it to whatever I want. Maybe I want that black for some reason and it even gives you how it even shows you how it would look like on here and it also honestly does not look the greatest so 
Um, but I but I'm just showing you guys how you guys could stylize this. To be honest, I would leave it how it was. It was already really um, it was already looking really good, and I feel like it already pops out. So you don't really need to change it much. You can change the alignment as well. You can change it to the right, the left. I assume it would change, but I, you can notice it didn't really didn't really move as much. Um, you can change this maybe to a red if that's something that you guys wanted to do. I know red pops a lot more, so. Um, what I would actually do, how I would stylize this, is probably leave this up to like white or something, um, something close to how it was gray, and then I would maybe make the box red. Um, sorry, not this box actually. I maybe maybe make it gray a little bit here, and then the border around it, I would just make it red. And that's just another way of you could uh, doing it as well. Um, and again, then you can just adjust the text. Probably probably make that white. Out and then I'll just switch to maybe red. Let's see, we should be able to change the color here. Looks a bit. Uh, let's see if that actually ended up adjusting over here. Okay, so it did, yeah. So that's how you can go just go ahead and add it in there. And as you can tell, whenever I click on this, it adds it to my um to my checkout here. So that's basically how you would go ahead and stylize this. I'm sure you guys already have a way that you guys want to stylize it. If not, I would just leave it how it was, or I would just make it red just so then it could pop out a little more. And that's pretty much it for this video. I didn't want to make it too long. Um, it is really simple, and I feel like it's a really easy uh, process to set up. So you guys can definitely add this right away to your guys' website. If you guys did find this video helpful, make sure to squash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. That would really help out the channel out a lot. And it'll definitely help out more people in finding this video. Now, if you guys haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.